Shabbat Shalom. I want to give a great divinely shout out to Ed Cadillac Dixon for your great inspirational video. And I love the sketch. Okay, now, uh, family, check her out. She's family. She uh, gave a testimony on her life. It's like a 40-minute video, so get your tea or your coffee <laughs> and uh, pick a time and a day to check out family. You know, everybody got a story to tell, and she represented our home. All right, God bless you. Now, people, real quick, I want to uh, talk to you all about something real quick. This is a brief uh, teaching. If you are dealing with people in your life who always make promises about they're going to do this, they're going to do that, but never could bag it up with their actions, you need to run from these people. These people will help destroy your life. Do not feel that you need to bail with these people. I don't care if they are relatives. You need to stop dealing with people who are takers, who are stealers. Who are living the gateway life. They are servants of their father. Who is Satan. Satan is the father of lies. Quit feeling like you need to put over people. Who would do nothing but destroy your life. You will not ever have peace within yourself. When you have people like that in your premises. Or on your premises. Now if you happen to be around somebody. <laughs> Somebody, now think about what I just said. With people who are there to destroy your life, who are liars, they, it, 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 uh, those come in packs. It's a lot of those. And see, when you have a lot of those around you, you feel you got good friends and you, yeah, I got a bunch of people in my life. But these people are miserable and they come to destroy you. But if you have at least one person that's in your life who said they're going to do this, they're going to do that, and they do bag it up with their actions. That's someone you need to thank God that is in your life. You need to thank God that this person has been sent to you. huh? When you're around someone who don't borrow but lend to you, this is someone you need to, to appreciate in your life. We don't care if you, I don't need that. Yeah, but you got people who act like they need you, and all they do is just want to take and suck your drag. That's it. These are vampires and wolves. People feel good when, when Joe Blow and Pookie and Ray Ray always knocking on their door, talking about something, yeah, can I have this? Can I have that? You going to give me this? But they, that's not what's sincere. These are takers, especially when they don't replace back. Or especially if they don't accomplish the goals that they lied to you about trying to accomplish. They need your money to so-called help with the, what they're trying to accomplish. It just don't make sense. Stop dealing with these people. Stop feeling like, okay, well, as long as I can provide their needs, they'll keep coming around me. I feel content with just them always needing me. That's not it. You don't have peace within yourself when Pookie and Ray Ray always knocking on your door. When Joe Blow and them always calling your phone, you know they always want something. And never give back. And then the shebang with these evildoers, they always come with a, a game about how they choose to so-called pay you back or accomplish whatever lie they said they was going to accomplish. I can help you out and give you that back, but see, that, 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 that they father is Satan. When someone say, I got you, but <laughs> get away from these people. It's always something to it. That's how Satan rolls. Satan will give you something, but it's a cash to it. I can give you $100, but you got to give me $200. See, that's Satan. It's like, huh, what? Wait a minute. I just gave you or loaned you to $100. Why I got to give you 200 back in order for you to give me the 100 that you already, that you borrowed from me. You see what I'm saying? And then see, when God sent angels to you, but it may be one angel. That's why people mess over these type of people because they don't come in packs. See, when that person is in your life who's willing to look out for you or, you know, they can make promises that they can keep by their actions. 
Huh? They may throw a little extra in there. You know? You don't want to be a borrower. You want to be the lender. But I'm just saying, if you have people in, in your life who say they're going to get a center and, and help out the homeless, they're about to get ready and get a shelter for the homeless, they're about to get ready and run a soup house, and they do it, that's someone that you need to keep in your life. Hallelujah. If someone say, yeah, we're going to make a trip out here to Europe, and, uh, yeah, you know, we're going to do this, and I got you. Come on, roll with me. I got your ticket, and they do it. That's someone that you should want in your life. See what I'm saying? And see, people mess over these type of people because they can't believe that the things that they are doing are actually true. So they get scared. They realize, wait a minute, hold on. This is too good to be true. I don't deserve to go to Europe. I don't deserve to be around someone who got their own program. Hallelujah. I don't deserve to be around someone this nice. So what they do, they mess over them. Because deep down inside, they feel that they don't deserve their blessings. And so they'd rather be around people who are of the score because they feel more comfortable because they like that too. See what I'm saying? But see, if you can just wave your options out and realize what God is doing for you, then you will be blessed. You will be blessed. God still have mercy on unbelievers. If the wicked could just wake up and listen to the angels that God has sent in their lives and stop being so hard and hearted and, and, and stop being so stubborn, then he will bless you. He will lift burdens off of you. He will bring peace in your life. But people who have these people in their life, they don't care. They don't want it. They have pride. They're envious. They're jealous. Well, I know this person is good, but I don't care. It ain't me that's good. Why well, I can't be like that? Well, it's times you could have been like that, but you are evil. You don't want to actually show that. A lot of people feel that they're, they're soft if they be kind, if they be loving, if they be delicate towards one another. They feel like they, they just feel better having a burden of evil on them. But see, you cannot whine and cry about why you're miserable and why the person who you envy is study glowing, prospering, growing. Huh? You cannot get mad at the next person who is prospering before you. God is trying to tell everybody something, but don't nobody want to listen. See, if you have someone in your life who keeps their word and bag it up with action, you need to thank God for that person and don't mess them over. Because once they leave, then you're going to want to hurt yourself. I don't care how. You're going to be salty. You're going to be looking stupid. But if Joe Blow is over here telling you things and they can't bag up a lick of what they talking about and you still decide to keep these people in your life, then you deserve every bit of depression that comes upon you. Shalom.